Hello guys and welcome to AMH Tech SL. In this video I am going to show you how you can brute force attack 4 digit pin security system on Android smartphones that support OTG USB. So if you are new to my channel, don't forget to press the subscribe button and please press the bell icon for more notifications. You would need a USB cable. Next, you would need an OTG which supports your phone. So, this is a micro USB OTG and this is a Type C OTG. Next, you would need the DigiSpark 80 Tiny 85 board. So, these products are available in the retail stores and you can also purchase it online I will provide the links in the description for you to purchase them so the first thing you will have to do is you will have to navigate to the google drive link and download the digispark drivers so you can download it by right clicking the driver folder and then click on download next confirm the location and then click on save Once you have finished downloading, open your downloads folder and then extract the driver file. After you have done that, open the folder, open the next folder and then double click the DP install. And in the next page click on yes after click on next and if you have finished installing it click on finish next close all the windows and then open Microsoft Store next in the search bar type Arduino Thief the Arduino IDE, click on it and then click on get and wait for it to download and install Alright, we have successfully installed Arduino IDE. So next, oh, click the start menu and then open the Arduino IDE. Once the Arduino has opened, click on file and then click on preferences. And then you will have to add a URL here. So I have provided you the link in the description where it will take you to didistump.com and when you scroll down you will have a link which says in the box labeled additional board manager URLs enter. So you will have to just copy this and then open your Arduino IDE and then add the URL here and then click on OK and next click on tools and then select board manager and then within contributed you can see the Digistump AVR ports so click on install and we have successfully installed the Digistump board manager and then you will have to click on close next click on tools and then select the board so I'm going to select the Digispark default board so the next thing you will have to do is you will have to go to your chrome browser and open 
the next Google Drive link which says phone crack. Next right click it and then download it and then click on save. Once you have finished downloading, open your downloads folder and then extract the file. Once you have extracted the file, open the folder. Next double click the INO file. And then under tools, select our board. So let's select our DigiSpark. So if the board doesn't appear here, you will have to add it again. So let's go to the URL. And let's add the preferences link again. By clicking file, preferences and then additional board URL and then click on OK and then click tools and then select the board manager and select contributed and then you can see that this is stump board is available so you will have to close this window again and then click on tools and select the DG stump AVR board and select DG spark so we have come to the final stage where we are going to plug in the DigiSpark into our computer. So let's connect it. So the next thing you will have to do is you will have to click on verify. After that click on the upload button. So. Let's plug in the device. So I have fixed the USB cable and now I am fixing the DigiSpark. And now we have successfully compiled our code and uploaded it to our DigiSpark 80Tiny85 board. So now it's time for some testing. So now let's try out the DigiSpark 80Tiny85 on an Android smartphone. So the Android smartphone I'm going to use today is a Redmi Note 10. So let's plug in our digispark into the otg and then let's plug the otg into the phone's c type opening so the digispark will take five seconds to load and you can see that it is entering random passwords until your device is locked And there it hits random passwords and it has successfully unlocked my phone. Thank you for watching my videos and please like, comment, subscribe and share this video with your friends and family.